Another Nollywood actress, Charity Naji, might be going through domestic violence, and this is going by the latest um, Instagram post. It read, hard time for me, I need your prayers. My fears are single mom, but I really don't have an option right now. Hashtag say no to domestic violence. So, um, well, to be honest, I don't really have an option. I don't know who this Charity Naji is. Mm. The first time I heard that story was with this mm, mom fa. The Momfa Instagram mm. guy that is like very rich on, um, yeah. on IG. So that was like when I heard about that. And it's like every single time her name, her name comes up in the news, it's not for, oh, Charity Naji was in this movie and she did well. Charity Naji did this. It's always for one negative controversy. story, controversy, or the other. And I would say that this story is very vague. There's no. Like, there's no substance to it when you look deep. Because, like, mm -hmm. we don't know. Because she said um, her fear as a single mom has come to pass. And then she said, say no to domestic violence. So we don't know what exactly is going on. I just, I don't, I hope it's not, like, clouds chasing, Sha. I, for me, I feel, I, it is, can, if you say it's vague, it's possible. But if you also want to look at it and forget that she's always in between controversies, mm -hmm. you'll probably notice that, for me, I feel like she's saying she doesn't want to become a single mother, but the fact mm. that she's going through this domestic violence is leaving her no option right mm. now, right? So whatever mm. it is, I, I, I just know that when I, when I use myself as an example, I know I cannot even survive one slap. <laughs> so I don't know how people stay in such relationship in hopes that this person will yeah. be better. Like, sis, <laughs> it's wrong, but I admire that strength because yeah. I can never have it yeah. Yeah, I think forever. You know what, because and I hope that me, she comes out of it. In as much um, as the story might come out to be a, a bit vague, I'm mm. seeing a woman with strength, yeah. courage, and... Um, decisiveness because I'm going a to lot embrace of women, fear. yeah a lot of women have stayed in relationships that they've been abused verbally physically because of a child mm -hmm. do you understand they'll be like oh well I don't want my child to grow up without your father but you're not happy Hmm. You're being slapped left, right, center every day. You're being treated like trash. You're in between every life day. and death. You're basically. in between yeah. life and death. But because you have a child, you want to stick around in that relationship. This is 2026. I saw something about a girl that said um, she was married to, she was engaged, she was um, dating this guy for, for four, four years. years. Mm -hmm. And um, the guy slapped, the her, guy twice. slapped her once. Twice. twice. No, twice. twice. Mm, two okay, slaps. he slapped her twice. Mm. Yeah, but once. Mm. I think it was the first time he slapped her, but it was two slaps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it was double. It was the first was time. Double, yeah, it was the first time. He slapped her twice. Then she moved on. She broke, she broke up, up with him. him. And the guy could not believe that she actually left because of a slap. Mm -hmm. So in his mind, he's like, ah, no, she just left for slap. somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, he couldn't believe. But this is a time where women, we've seen women that have died. We've seen women that mm -hmm. they've lost a lot of things just because they stayed with a man that started with one, in fact, one pinch. Mm -hmm. One pinch turned to one slap. One slap turned to one kick. One kick turned to one blue. Before you know it now, it has <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? So, at the end of the day, you need to make a decision for yourself as a woman. The mm -hmm, fact yeah. that a man will raise his hand, people will say that, ah, that maybe you did something. To forget what you did wrong. And also, Any I feel, man that I feel was raised like, right would never raise his hand on a woman. You know how yeah. society can have... Exactly. Um, an opinion when they see a single mother or mm -hmm. now they call them baby mama or whatever you want to call them, they feel like, oh, they made a mistake with their life and all mm. that. I don't know, but th this is a feeling. There are people that, women, not even men, women mm. that have gone out there to say bad things about other women that ended up as single, as mothers, single mothers. And yeah. when they now find themselves in that yeah, situation, yeah. they are scared. They feel like, no, I don't want to become a single mother because, yeah, because of what, what the they have said about people. Because mm. they too, they, they felt like they had the answer to everything that comes mm. with life at the tip of their finger, but they realize that it's not like that. So that is another struggle they have to go through because they feel like, no, I can't join the people I've been bashing. But at the end mm. of the day, it's just about you and your happiness. And just survive and be yeah. happy. Say no to domestic violence, like she rightfully said. And I hope mm. she actually gets the courage to so move on from it because it's, it's yeah. never easy. Like if first said, sometimes you're thinking of your child, you're thinking of what people will say, you're thinking mm -hmm. of people you've bragged um, to, to say, so oh, I have the best right. man in the world. And I mean, best men can turn to, the best man can turn to the worst man tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know, and I just tell people, enjoy the moment. And when that moment ends, try to move on and find another happiness. That's yeah. just it. So I would say that to Charity and Naji, whatever it is that she's um, going, going through, to. she should find the strength to pull through and just 
take a walk from mm. the relationship because it's better. I would always say that it's better to be alive than to be packing the um, trying to build or maintain an already broken relationship. If mm. somebody cannot respect your body, if somebody cannot respect you as an individual, then there's no reason for you to remain in that kind of relationship. Sure. Because when somebody is raising up his hand to beat you, and somebody is because for me, I feel like domestic violence always stems from a place of power dynamics. Mm. You are trying to show that you are more powerful than the person, or that you you can control that yes, kind of person. I think men are just built that way because um, upbringing also comes into play in this. Now, if you mm -hmm. were brought up in a home where you saw a man eating, so mm -hmm. that's why a lot of parents and um, we that are aspiring to be parents, we need to. Um, be mindful of the kind of examples we lay down for our children because I can't imagine my daughter seeing me always beating the mom. The mom. Mm. The mom. When, when she grows up, she will have a certain mindset. mindset from a mm. man. So even when a man does it, she feels like, okay, my dad did it and my mom stuck around. So yeah. let me just stick around too. Yeah. Now that also comes to play with the boys. The boy says their dad doing that every time, their mom is sticking around. They'll be like, so it's okay for me to do it too. Yeah. So upbringing also matters. So a lot of parents should try and avoid what their kids see them doing. Yeah. Lay down a good example. A good foundation and then you make the best so kids. basically for what you're saying i think i'll just sum it up to saying living an abusive relationship is is the best thing you can also do for your child yeah. Yeah. because i know you say you oh leave. i'm staying there because of my child but living is the best thing you can do for your child we can be yeah. co-parent we can do yeah. co-parenting you know we can have we I don't can. think you should co-parent with an abusive partner though <laughs> 